So this is a super rare coin. So we have a very low mintage coin here. It's the 1901S mint mark. If you look here on the reverse, if we zoom in there down on the bottom of the reverse of the coin, you'll see that S mint mark there. So for 1901, for the S mint mark, they produced only 72,000 of these coins. Now for 1901 O mint mark, over 1.6 million. 1901 No mint mark, over 8.8 .8 million. So the 1901 S is super, super rare. And to have it in this condition, even more rare. You're talking this coin is graded by PCGS at a mint state 67 plus. That is a super, super high grade, especially for a coin where they only minted 72,000. Uh, this coin ended up selling for $162,000. That's right, $160,000 for that one 25 cent coin. Now here's the 1916 Standing Liberty quarter dollar here. So this is a very, very nice coin uh, graded at a proof 61 by NGC. Now uh, the 1916, you know, regular Standing Liberty quarter is already extremely low mintage as well. They did not produce a lot of those coins. This is graded at a proof 61. And this coin ended up selling for over $168,000 absolutely incredible now here's another standing liberty silver quarter that sold for even more money it's the 1918 standing liberty quarter where the eight is over the seven so it is the estimate mark you'll see that estimate mark there to the right of the star down by the date but if we look at the eight of the date you'll see that a seven is underneath it so we have an eight over a seven and this coin being in extremely good condition graded by pcgs at a mint state 64 plus that is going to give it a lot of value as well that's why this one quarter dollar coin here sold for three hundred and thirty six thousand dollars oh my gosh now i have to admit i'm a big coin collector but if i have this coin i would 100 percent sell it $336,000. What would you guys do with that money? Let me know in the comments below. Now, as we move in here to the Washington quarters, this is the 1932D mint mark. Now, it's important to understand mintages and how many they made for each year in mint mark. For the 1932D mint mark, they only produced 436,000 of these coins. So they're super low mintage in comparison to uh, all the other quarters where they produce millions and millions, right? Now, there's also the 1932 uh, no mint mark. They produced over 5.4 million. Nothing really uh, exciting there, right? We want to stay with those low mintages and high grades. But also in 1932, you had the S mint mark where they produced 408,000. So for the year 1932, the Washington quarters, the D mint mark and the S mint mark are really the desirable coins because they didn't produce a lot of them. Now this coin is only graded at an AU58, so it's not a high mint state grade, but the coin still sold for over $450 at this grade, an AU58 in that condition. So, you know, had this been a high mint state grade, you're talking thousands of dollars. So keep that in mind, uh, that is uh, gonna be valuable just because of it, uh, it being a 1932D mint mark. You can have a 1932D mint mark all worn down, not in the best condition, and they're still gonna sell, you know, for, you know, 100 bucks or 80 bucks or something, you know, it's a lot of money for, you know, just 25 cents. Now here's a 1932S mint mark. So again, like I said, they produced only a little over 400,000 of these coins. This coin is graded at a mint state 66. So you're talking extremely good condition, very high grade. And that's why this quarter sold for over $35,000. So keep that in mind. You can have one that sells for around 500 bucks. You can have one that sells for $30,000 based on the grade of the coin. Now here is a 1937 Washington quarter. Now what makes this quarter special? Well, a couple things. One, it's graded by PCGS at a Men's State 66, so it's in very good condition. And it also has a double die obverse. So as we zoom in here, you can see doubling there on the date, 1937. And you'll also see it on the lettering of the coin as well. Get your coin microscopes out. Check all your old silver quarters that you have in your coin collection or a coin collection you may have inherited. And, uh, you know, definitely look for those double dies because, you know, even in bad condition, these coins can uh, still sell because of them being doubled. Uh, but this coin ended up selling in this high grade, this good condition, for over $19,000. Whew, 19 grand. 
Now here's a 1942 D mint mark, same case with this coin. Doesn't have the high mint state grade, it has an AU53 grade, but it does have a double die obverse. So as we zoom in there on the date, you can see that there again on the date 1942 along with the lettering on the front of the coin. So that's what's gonna make it valuable. Had it been a high mint state grade, it could have sold for a lot more money. So over $430 for that quarter. Now here's a 1943. Again, this is a high grade example, graded at a mint state 66. We also have doubling on the front of the coin, on the uh, date, on the lettering. I actually have a 1943 double die myself, but uh, it's in very poor condition. This is in very uh, gr good condition. It's graded at a mint state 66, so excellent condition here. This coin sold for over $17,000 because of the doubling and because of that high grade. Now here's a 1950 Washington Quarter. Now this doesn't have any doubling. This actually has a uh, D mint mark over an S mint mark and it has a high grade, meaning that it is in very good condition. So we got the high grade, a mint state 67. And as we go here on the reverse of the coin, we zoom in there, you'll see a D over an S mint mark. Uh, so Keep that in mind, you can look for those on the 1950 Washington quarter. This quarter ended up selling for over $29,000 because of the over mint mark and because of its condition. Now, we looked at uh, the 1950 where the D was over the S mint mark. In this case, it's a 1950 Washington quarter where an S is over the D mint mark. And again, extremely high grade. Uh, that's why this quarter ended up selling for over $16,000 graded at a mint state 67. Now in 1965, you guys know that they went from producing silver coins in 1964 for the quarters and dimes to uh, producing the, those coins in clad. So 1965 quarters were not supposed to be 90% silver. However, this 1965 quarter design was struck onto a silver planchet, 90% silver planchet that they used the year prior in 1964. So this coin is graded by PCGS at an AU58. This coin sold for over $14,000 because it was struck onto a silver planchet. Uh, so that is something to always look for. You can tell if a coin is silver by the edges, uh, by just the way it looks if you guys are experienced with coins, uh, and by the weight, of course, or you can do sound tests and things like that. But it's pretty e easy to distinguish a, a silver quarter from a clad quarter. Now here's a 1971 Washington quarter that sold for over $8,800. Why in the world would a 1971 quarter sell for that? Well, it has a very good grade. It's graded at a mint state 65, and it has doubling on the reverse of the coin. So a doubled die reverse, and you can see that there on the lettering on the back of the quarter. So that is what gives it the value. This coin, like I say, sold for over $8,000. Now here is a 2000 Lincoln cent and state quarter. So we have a double denomination here, right? So we have a Lincoln cent that was struck onto a Virginia state quarter. Very nice mint error here. This coin ended up selling for over $15,000. Could you imagine coming across something like that? Now here is a 2004 Wisconsin state quarter. So if you ever come across Wisconsin uh, state quarters, you always want to look for this thing. Uh, on this quarter, you'll see that it has an extra high leaf. As we zoom in there, we can see that. Now, here's an example of extra high leaf, low leaf, and then uh, on most of these Wisconsin quarters, you'll find that, that there will be no leaf at all there. So there are some produced with a high leaf and a low leaf. Uh, so there's the examples of that. This coin that we're looking at here is the extra uh, high leaf, and it is graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. This quarter ended up selling for over $2,200. Now this next coin here is the low leaf, extra low leaf. And you can see that uh, clearly in the images displayed. This quarter also sold for over $2,200 at a mint state 67 grade. So I actually have one of these in my coin collection. It's probably worth around you know, $100, $150 because mine isn't graded at a mint state 67. Um, but if you do get one at this grade, it's uh, gonna be a couple thousand bucks, depending on when you sell it in the market and, and all that stuff, right? So feel free to check out the other coin videos here on the channel. We're showing you guys modern coins to look for, old coins and coin collections that you can look for that are extremely valuable. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I...
disappear.